good morning or afternoon or evening whatever time it is you're watching this my fellow nachos I did it again I went out this morning uh, after my inaugural run uh, and decided to try to pick up some more stuff I saw um, some aluminum shades uh, on the way home last night and I said you know what I'm gonna figure out uh, who's got pickle tomorrow and luckily for me it was uh, very close to where I'm at so I decided I am going to pick things up today and see what I can do um, of course everything was big number one I need to get myself a GoPro so that way I'm not having to hold my phone and that's why I'm not able to uh, film while I'm doing the actual picking which is a little disappointing I'm hoping to get the GoPro so I can start doing that and giving you some more uh, live action but I'm, I, I'm just getting started at this, so you have to bear with me. Um, and uh, I also need to get a truck. <laughs> I had to leave three barbecues in an oven behind. Uh, I would guess that that's probably 60 bucks. So, you know, you're leaving money on the table. Maybe not 60 bucks. I mean, I, I don't know what a, a full-size oven brings, but I would guess 30 bucks. Uh, barbecues are probably... You know 20 bucks a piece the one was a Weber so it's gonna be super heavy um, it's so hard to leave behind I almost tried to figure out how to rip the lid off of it because that's where a lot of the weight comes from but I don't know that I would add space for it anyways I there it still floors me the amount of trash that we make and throw out I had a guy uh, I picked up a couple of TVs and when I was picking one of them up he you know flagged me down and he said hey do you fix TVs I said, no, I'm just, I'm just scrapping this. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, I've got a 72 inch inside. I'll put it out for you tonight. <laughs> uh, because it's gonna probably cost me more than, to fix it than it is uh, to get rid of it. So uh, I'm picking up a, a big old TV uh, later uh, just from running around and being nice to people. So we, like I said, we got a computer, we have a fan, we have, some extruded aluminum, we've got some chairs, we've just got a montage of stuff, and my truck is packed full, and even when I thought it was full, I kept jamming more in here. It'll be interesting to see whether I can get it all out or not, because it was literally jammed in there, like 10 pounds of potatoes in a five pound sack. So, we're uh, gonna go to the yard, get weighed in, and uh, see what we weigh see what it pays. I'll be back when we get to the yard. All right, so here's a load. We had uh, four TVs, a grill that wasn't put together, two car doors, a computer, a top of a grill, handful of chairs, some gas aluminum lights that I'm not going to do. I kept some of the other stuff to um, sell to the aluminum guy, so we'll see what we get there. So let's go in and knock this out. Maybe soon I'll be able to load like that. Someday. All right, so I'm officially weighed in. Uh, now I'm over here to where uh, they do the aluminum extrusion, uh, insulated copper wires and things like that. We'll see how that works and go from there. All righty, we have checked out. <laughs> and it's crazy, man. You remember now, I've got no trailer, got no truck. I've simply got an SUV. And today I trash picked. I started at like uh, 9.30. It's now 11.30. So it's two hours from start to finish. And that includes uh, going to the yard, um, selling at two different locations. Because today I did... Um, I did the, the the steel, and when I talk with the lady, I'm like, hey, uh, I have some uh, extruded aluminum. Is it better to do that separate? She's like, yeah, definitely. Um, and she's like, if you got some wires, you can do that over there too, which I didn't know that they did here. I thought they just did the bigger stuff. Um, so I actually, one of the uh, places that I went today, they had a small bin and they had some uh, sheet copper in it. It wasn't a whole lot, um, but it ended up being nine bucks worth of copper um, because it was straight, you know, steel or straight solid copper sheeting. Um, so we'll start with 
the steel. 38 bucks and 20 cents. We had 500 and I think 10 pounds. The printer doesn't want to work with me. I also found out that CW stands for hundreds. So they pay seven bucks per hundred pounds or seven cents a pound. So um, pretty sweet, man. It was those car doors. Those car doors helped a lot. Um, they were both pretty heavy. Um, they certainly helped with the weight and they didn't take up too much space. Would have loved to have grabbed that stove or one of the grills. Um, it would have helped my total even more, but without a truck, it's kind of hard. And then for my other details, I got uh, almost 24 bucks, 23.98. And that was some insulated wiring, which was some vacuums that I clipped cords off of, the TVs I clipped the cords off of. We got some number two copper, which was uh, in uh, like a, an alarm box that I had. We had, actually the number two is probably that sheet. Um, we got some clean aluminum, and we got some light iron, which is basically the cast aluminum that's dirty. Uh, I threw my lights in with the steel. That was a mistake. It cost me about 23 cents a pound. So I'm guessing, you know, I probably gave away a couple of bucks, maybe three bucks um, that I could have made today um, by not separating them. But I'm learning. So that's uh, how you learn. He said, if you've got uh, aluminum, it's dirty with the glass and the light bulbs and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it'll, it will pay less than clean, but I can take it over there and make a lot more than the seven cents a pound. So with that, I'm pretty stoked, man. So it's our total for today. Oops, 63 bucks and change. Not too shabby for a couple hours of work and with the car I already have. So if you'd like to take nacho stuff, and make some cash just get out there and pick it up man look for uh your garbage day or your large item pickup day that's when i have to do it because we have the bins here locally uh, they don't take anything unless it's in the bin so i have to wait for a large pickup day but there was so much stuff out there and if i had a trailer or a truck which i'm you know that's what i'm saving this money for it's going to go for a trailer uh, and then maybe a, a truck uh you know that i can start doing stuff and it'll pay for itself so Take natural stuff and turn it into cash. I'll catch y'all in the next video.